Speaks El Maestro Speaks Podcast. The motivational speaker. <laughs> Motiva motivational speaker. And this one, I like this one. Gurus. Yeah, which makes me wonder. What should be your credential? Or, yeah, what credentials and experiences should you have to be called a guru? Like, guru. What is guru? Can we take a look at the definition of that one in our dictionary? Let me see. So, guru, guru, guru. <clears throat> just a quick Google <laughs> on that one. I'm just wondering because I was just, I was browsing the internet a while ago and I, I saw this one, particularly here in the Philippines, a guru. And on Google, business and expert freelancers. Oh, no, no, I want the meaning. Okay. <clears throat> um, guru in a Sanskrit term here is a Sanskrit term for a mentor, guide, expert, and a master of a certain field. It's an Indian word. It's a Sanskrit. It is also, maybe it's where the Tagalogs derive their word guru also a teacher but here it's like a master a mentor as somebody who's expert at something now there are a lot of people here in the internet that claims that they are a guru and that's why and you you look at them they're they're so young maybe i don't know maybe it's just because i'm old from <laughs> seven you know but there are a lot of influencers making content claiming that they're a financial guru i mean uh, motivational, yeah, going back again to motivational speaking. That makes me wonder what should be your credential that you can call yourself Google. In particular, I have this guy here. So what happens? I have this guy here who claims that he is a financial guru. And uh, I'll be talking about him for a while because I want to I want to talk about the wild, wild, wild claims that he has. Let's treat it. Oh, this one here. I want you to listen to this. I'm sorry for those who are listening that are English speaker. I'll try to translate what he's talking about. Okay, so just just so that we can have our conversation going. Okay, listen to this. One diploma ka pa, papel lang yan, pero kung dito ako mas lalaking kita ko, dito na lang ako. Sad to say, dito sa Pilipinas, kinukuha ng mga companies ngayon is yung mga college graduate. Yeah. Ano ba yung reason? Nakapag-usap na ako sa mga may malalaking company na, mm. mga malalaking businesses na, mga corporations na, lagi ko tinatulong sa nila, bakit nga pala hindi kayo nag-hire ng mga college dropout? Isa lang, palang sagot dyan, mahirap na mag-take ng risk. Sa ibang bansa kasi, kahit wala kang college diploma, basta meron kang valuable skill, ha-hire ka nila, marunong siya mag-accountant, ikaw may diploma, pero siya mas magaling, kukunin ko pa rin siya. Hindi ko siya pa rin eh. Gusto niya kung mas malaki ang return of investment ko, doon ako. Kahit may diploma ka pa, papil lang yan, pero kung... Alright. So this guy, I don't want to mention the name. So this guy claims to be a financial guru. <clears throat> yes, claims to have some business. Now, she's talking about in, in this video, there was, I cannot find the exact video wherein he compared somebody who has a degree and someone who didn't finish or who doesn't have a degree and then work hard. And he said that diploma is just a piece of paper. It won't take you anywhere. And accordingly, majority of businessmen hires college undergrad or those people that does not have a degree because um, they're a lot better, according to him. So he's like trying to tell the youth it's better that it does not matter if you study or not. In fact, it is better if you're not going to have your degree and start doing business at an early age. That's what's saying. Because your degree won't help you become successful. That's the gist of what he's saying. Now, a lot of influencers have already debunked his claim. And of course, even us, even you listeners could see, I think, the ridiculousness of this, <laughs> this claim here. But again, this guy here claims that he's a guru. In fact, he's been creating a lot of books, teaching people how to, you know, make money. What was the book that was becoming a hot issue now with other influencers? <laughs> Let me remember. Yes. 
Oh, the art of organic marketing. I don't know what that is. I'm not the businessman. So <clears throat> it's creating a lot of books like that and selling them online. And they've been making podcasts also where they claim to have been, to have been, have, uh, been having their six-digit income, something like that. He, uh, this guy has the friends, and they make podcasts like that, making ridiculous claims. Oh, I don't care about their claims about the money. What irks me the most is their claim that having a diploma does not make a difference at all, that you'd be better off without a degree. You should start learning how to do business now. It is, <laughs> I would I don't know. He's a dropout. He's a college dropout. Accordingly, I don't have a verifiable source to verify that. But according to some of the influencers, he did not finish his study also. And I guess he's just trying to influence others to follow his footsteps. Which is, I don't know if he is successful because he keeps on comparing. Look at Bill Gates, Zuckerberg. Those guys are genius. Not everybody is a genius. Not everyone can go to the path that you've been through to reach success. So it's baloney to advise or to give that advice to young people who are still trying to find their own way in life. And then here comes this guru trying to ask them, I mean, telling them that this is the way. Now, right now, Whoever is listening here and they're trying, they're planning to do what he's saying, I would tell you, please finish. Get a fucking degree. Get a degree. I cannot reiterate this enough. Get a freaking degree that will help you a lot. You know, and a degree that is aligned with your expertise, with your passion. <laughs> All right. And in the future, working, if you get that, if you will find out that you will find out that working will just be a play if it is aligned with your passion. Okay. Yeah. I'll give an example of somebody who used, I mean, he used this degree to become successful in life. Okay. I won't need to go far. Let's just do it here, locally, here in Baguio City. Okay. I'm sorry for those who are listening from the other country, but you can Google this if you want to. Okay. Here in Baguio, in the Philippines, Baguio City, we had a mayor here named Attorney Mauricio Dumoga. Okay, so I had him in a podcast here, um, a previous episode. So he talked about his life. He shared that, that he came from a very poor family, orphaned at a very young age. Her, his mother died at a very young age. So he said death is, um, I mean, death um, never gave him the chance to see the beautiful face of his mother, all right? He is very poor. In fact, when he was young, he was called the Arasao boy. Arasao is the term we used to call for leftover food. Now here in the Philippines, for those who are listening from the other country, what we do is th this leftover foods are being collected by people who own piggeries. Now, if you're a big piggery, you will ask some boys to collect leftover foods from different houses in the neighborhood and bring it to your pig pen. Yeah, you'll pay the boy. You'll pay the boy for the errands that he did. And that's what Attorney Mauricio did back when he was young. And he noticed that, of course, he knew that he had to get a degree so that he can improve his status in life. And he did. Okay? He said he came here in Baguio City in 1965. That was the first time he came to Baguio. Never been to Baguio until 1965. Imagine that. Now, he studied, finished his degree, he got his law degree, started working. He became, you know, a lawyer for the working people. He improved his status in life because of his degree, because of education. Again, not all people can do that. 